and sisters rise for prayer. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the Beneficent, the Merciful. So, Master's Day of Judgment in which we now live, the alone do we serve and the alone seek for thine help and aid. O oh, Allah, guide us on the right path, the path of those upon whom thou spell thy favors, not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray if they heard thy teachings. Say he allows one God, <coughs> lies he of whom nothing is independent, but upon whom we all depend. He beget us not, nor is he begotten, there is none like him. And I bear witness and none are to be served, worship or praise, beside Allah, who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. And I bear witness that the honor of Elijah Muhammad is that true servant and last apostle. I mean. Assalamu alaikum. Like saying, the name of Allah who came in the person of the Master Farad Muhammad, the true living God, we forever thank him. Read up in our midst, the divine, the teaching God, the person of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. May the peace and blessing of Almighty God of Allah forever be upon him. We know for sure that he's no longer with you and I in the physical form, but that what was given to him from Almighty God of Allah who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. True living God live with you and I the believers. But like I say it's an honor and a privilege given to be here in this day and time as a believer, bearing witness. There's no God but Allah who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, his last and greatest messenger. Uh, before I continue, I'd like to extend the greetings from uh, of the Quincy, ex and his wife, Sister Catherine of Assalamu alaikum to all the believers. And Brother Mustafa Ali, also since the greeting, him and Sister Sharice of Assalamu alaikum. And Brother uh, Captain Muhammad Salim Bey, since the greeting of Assalamu alaikum to all the believers. And um, it's very, very good to know that we do have believers other than ourselves is striving in the cause of Islam. You know, it's um, Islam is truth. It means truth. Manifestation. Truth. It makes all of us manifest. And to know that we have a true and living God on our side <clears throat> Excuse me, Allah will always be with you and I as long as we keep his messenger out front. And hard trials is necessary to establish truth. And it's going to be trials. It comes in all shapes, forms, and fashion. All kinds of trials. But as you grow and try to follow the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the best to our abilities. Allah blesses you with insight. I'm not saying no prophethood. Insight. Common sense. Pick up on things. He blesses you with that. And it's a good tool to have. It's a good tool to have. He warns you and I to let us know there's danger ahead. And if our heart's right, we always sidestep it. Lots of times when you sidestep it, people don't like it. But nevertheless, truth is truth. And it hurts the guilty. I thank Allah who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. For the believers, not me, it's the believers. Always have been the believers. Pray be to Allah, that's how that go. No, that's how that go. The messenger, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us well. He taught us that true love for the brotherhood, true love for the sisterhood, that's the only way that we're gonna make it. We got to have a true love for one another. 
That's the bottom line. And if we love each other, and we have the true love for each other, ain't nothing that Allah would allow us to do. And we're very fortunate to have had a messenger raised from among you and I to teach and guide us. That's the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. He was the end of all of it. The last and greatest messenger of all, of all time. And we're very blessed. So we don't want to squander this opportunity that we have. See, we can squander this opportunity by being foolish. Because I'll always send somewhere in better than you or me. It's always like that. It's a revolving door. The old one go out. The hypocrites, this hard hardest one goes on out. And the new ones come on, on in. It's like that. You know. So we have to always be on guard. So everyone say, Assalamu alaikum may not mean it. They may say, there might be trouble here. See? So these kind of things, it, it makes you better. When we depend on Allah, it makes us better. He wants to help you and I. He wants us to depend on him because he's well able. He has the power to deliver us. He has the power of all things, the devil of all things. He controls all things. And we, we are the believers in this God. The messenger taught us to believe in. He said, don't pray to me. Pray to the one that I taught you to pray to. The messenger said that. He letting us know, know he's not God. He, want, he prays to God himself. He asks Allah to protect him and protect all of us. He prayed all the time to for the believers. His interest was always, we were always his interest. It wasn't money, fame, fortune. It was you and I that he was interested in, that he loved more than we loved ourselves. And he proved that. For 44 years, he proved that. He never did he deviate. See, this is, whoo, when you come in contact with things, it, it, uh, what it do, brothers and sisters, it, 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 it builds your character. It makes you strong. And a lot of God. And you learn a lot about yourself. We learn a lot about ourselves in these different situations when things come up. You got to be strong, firm, not foolish. But strong, firm. And if our heart's right, he's with us. Our heart's got to be right. And he know he's not with us. Because he knows. See, this is the thing a lot of times with we fail to realize that Allah knows. He, he knows our hidden thoughts. This is the God that knows our hidden thoughts. And this is who we have to give praise and thanks to for his message. And to not to underestimate his power. Because he has the power over us. He knows us in and out. So we can't fool him. See, we can't fool him. But we got to be firm and stand up for what was right. Regardless of who we is. See? And like I said, he can deliver us. He has the power to deliver you and I. And which he has. We are delivered from the devil. We delivered from that world. We're in a new world of Islam under the guise and leadership of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And this is the days of manifestation of defects. Not only here, all around. That's why you're going to see and seeing. How it's being told, chip off the block. People can't help themselves. This, this, is, this is it. You're either with it or you're not. We can pretend all we want to.
But in the end, you're going to be either with it or you're not. You're going to go where everybody going where they belong. This is, this is it. So we in Islam, under the guise of leadership of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, we're in the right place. We're in the right place. Oh God. But we're going to have a lot of trials. Sometimes failures. But we're going to always, the messenger said that he promised us, he promised us that we're going to be the one. He promised us that. He promised you and I that. Regardless to what, what we go through, he said, I can tell you one thing. I promise you that you will be the one. He prom that's the promise he made you and I. You know, this job is not easy. It's not easy. And it's not easy for you either. You have a job too. We all have a job. You're an example. We are we're examples. For our lost time, brothers and sisters. That's what it's about. People get off track. The messenger, Allah came him, came here to seek and to save that which was lost. We can say that all over. He didn't come here for no showboaters, beauty pageant, whatever kind of. He came to find a messenger. To save us. That's all he came for. He didn't come playing. Or make, you know, he, he came to find a message to teach him, to teach you and I. So it's not about you or me. It's not about, no. It's about his teachings. That's what it's all about. It's not about you or me being a big man, a big having fame. And want to be big and want everybody to know who you are. It's not about that. By getting the dead. Like Allah came and raised a messenger up, and his teaching got you and I out of that mud that we were in. And there no play, no theater. Our life and salvation depends on it. This is the real deal here. It's not like about bit bright like bit city. No. It's not about that. By saving yourself. From the destruction of the devil. We have all kinds of history before you and I. No. That's a, a learning, the messenger say. It's not something just in a read or decoration. It's a learning for you and I to learn what happened to those who disobeyed the messengers of that time. We have all the scriptures. Those before us didn't have it. No, they didn't have the scriptures. They didn't have it like we got it. They couldn't look ahead and see what was going on. They had to go face value. But we had a message. We had all kinds of signs and warnings. They didn't. They might be, yeah, they were going to rain like this before, but they didn't have the history like we have. So we were fortunate. See? It's not to be played with. No, it's not to be played with. It's not big man time. There ain't no big man. Allah's the big man. Another big man was the messenger. They was the same. You see one, you see the other. You can't believe in one and disbelieve in another. We have to believe in both. So I heard that before. Yeah, he said it for 44 years. He said the white man is the devil. I heard that. He said it for 44 years. Some of them today still don't believe he's the devil. They think he can be reformed. But how can you reform the devil? You can't, you can't reform the devil. So we're very fortunate. You, I'm telling you, we're lucky. We, we shouldn't take this lightly. We're lucky. We're blessed. To be a follower of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Look at our people out there. Even look at some of the Muslims. Look at some of the Muslims that said they were following the message. Then they deviated. They took up another one. The golden calf. Look at them. See? The message said, Our last God who came to person Master Fry Muhammad, true and living God. Look at you and I. We lucky. If we just go before and after, look at them. Look at them lost found brothers and sisters out there. Look at the ex-Muslim believers who say they believe and then disbelieve. They don't realize.
realize it. They hypocrites. They done turn hypocrite and don't believe, don't even realize it. Because they say they believe in the messenger's teaching. Now they believe in somebody else, some other teachers. See? So this, this, this is real here. And, it, it, and it's close because we're getting to see who's who. Used to be, the message said a long time, it used to be, uh, used to take a while. It's, it, it comes quick now. It used to be a long time where you can pick up. Now you can pick it up. Soon you see it ahead, you can pick it up. You know who's who. You know who say they believe, and you know if they do. You can tell what? You judge a man according to the, the actions, the works. And you can't fake it. Pretty soon you say, Mr. I ain't going down there no more. That's a red flag. When you see him slipping and sliding, that's a red flag. When you see him talking, don't know what you're talking about, that's a red flag. That's right. That, that, that's how it is. Truth is truth. So the hat bit wet. You have to wear. That's just how it is. Islam is raw. It's true. It's going to make you or break you. You're going to accept it or reject it. That's how it is. You can put the blame on somebody. That's you. On me. But deep down, you know. You know the root of it. That's right. Allah is the man looking through the glass. Who came to the person with the problem humming. He know. And he know you know. And he know we all know. We all got thoughts. We all have them. You know them too. You know your own faults. I may not know it. You do though. It ain't for me to know. My own faults I got to worry about. I ain't worried about your faults. I can't help you there. The message said my job is just to get it to you. Not force you. Just to get it to you. So what? You don't have no excuse. Well, that's right. They're talking to me too. But we blessed. We lucky. We fortunate. We follow the message. We believe us. We believe in everything that he said. He taught us. We believe it. That's right. Very good to Allah. We don't even question it. But he said, ask me some questions. We don't even question it. We hear and obey. That's what a believer. Because we know the message ain't going to tell us nothing wrong. We believe that he said he saw God and talked with him. We believe that 100%. We believe in everything that he taught us. We don't, we don't believe that he told us a lie. He told us the truth because he got it from Allah. So we're very fortunate and we back him up. Because he backed us up for 44 years, he backed us up. He worked tirelessly, day and night, for you and I. Have we really thought about what he went through? Have we really honestly and sincerely thought about what this man went through? What he had to go through? To teach us and to show us what we have to go through. He did a hard, he did a hard job. God told him, brother, you got the worst job than any man had ever had. Coming to a hard-headed, stiff-necked, rebellious people who ridiculed him, talked about it, didn't believe him from the time he lived until the time he left. He passed away. Same attitude. Didn't believe it. And got worse than But he's the winner. He's the winner. He didn't fail. His mission was completed, and he completed it. He did it. Allah showed him. He's the winner. We still here. See? Pray to Allah. We still here. Yeah. We that thorn in the side. See? You get around, you see some always, you know, you get that little thing on kick sometimes, get it on your, on your, your leg. I had other day. Tell me I walk around something like pinching me. You get them little things. That's how we are to them. Every time they think about something to lie, we get, they get a pinch. Because we upholders of the truth. We're fighters for the truth. And Allah is backing you and I. He's with us. He, you can tell he's with us. 
they look at the temple. Oh, the temple. No, no. He still with us. See? He gonna give us what we need. See? He gives us what we need. If we need something bigger or whatever down to please him, we'll get it. We'll get it. Don't worry about it. What about now? That's like the 6,000 year history. Don't worry about the 66 trillion years history. You're in the 6,000 year sphere. Worry about that. Don't worry about that out there. 66 trillion ain't do you no good. It's the 6,000 year sphere what we in. That's what we're talking about. Not this moon 6 trillion years ago. No. The white man is the devil. And this year, he's the devil. He always will be the devil. And don't you ever forget it. This is what he told us. I don't care what they say. Don't you ever forget it. White people in the temple. Wearing their four eye uniforms. If it was a such thing to mess and roll around his grave, he will. If it was a such thing as that. A devil with the FOI uniform on. Trying to reform the devil. Got the lesson? told us about the devil, what happened, it had to happen to him. He had to be murdered. All mothers would murder the devil. Why? Because he know there's a snake. And if he be allowed to live, he would what? Sting someone else. So how do you kill him? With truth. Yeah, that's how you kill him. I ain't talking about strapping no dynamite around you and going in and they stab him and blow yourself up. No. Truth. Islam gonna kill him. The messenger's teaching is going to kill him. He's dying now. He's in the grave now. He just ain't put no dirt on him. He's in there now. This thing is dead. Christianity is dead. They don't even believe it themselves. They, 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 they the altar of it. We, we're very fortunate to have this truth. This is something worth fighting for. Because he's going to get all hypocrites and disbelievers going to leave. The message says, if you doubt me, don't follow me. If you doubt me, don't follow me. I know. Ain't no doubt he wasn't the messenger. Ain't no doubt our law is not God. Who came to person the master for our Muhammad. No doubt about it. Look at yourself. Ask yourself what you come through, what you've been through. Who that got you out of the mud? Who that's holding on, making you still live now? Who is that? Who is Allah? Who came in the person of the master for our Muhammad? You got a whole lot of them. The messenger say, many of them in this day and time we've come. Many of them. Hypocrites. Disbelievers. Snakes. Yeah. Slide in. Yeah. Get real hot. And then you show the real color. The message say, oh, man, I didn't know it was like that. Trouble ahead. I, I, I didn't really know of it like that. Why? Because you're being tried. You say you believe, okay. Let me see. Let me test you a little bit. Man. See what you do. See what you think. See what you give up. Get impatient. You gotta be patient with this job here. You gotta be patient to believe them. This slow grind here. Slow grind. Tell me, hurry up. You don't want to hurry up because you might not be ready. Man said, don't worry. Don't pray for that day. Many of you be lagging behind with a filth and a doubt for master. What is he telling you in me? Still folly busting, playing around, jiving, insincere. Whole lot of insincere Muslims. A lot of them. They say what that with their mouths. What do you want to tell you about how they talk with their mouths? No, no, no work. Their mouth. Big mouth. Yeah, you can ride right back. Yeah, but we'll put you to the test. See what you do. You river some of them. Just swivel. You know how strong you are. Brothers and sisters. You got to be strong. Because we have all kind of opposition. And you showing and illustrating your firmness. Because you here. You're willing to go through whatever it is necessary to establish truth.
The message said hard trials are necessary to establish truth. All of us, brothers and sisters, not just brothers, sisters too. You have to go through a lot. How you be talked about, laughed at, scorned, because you try to cover yourself up, try to look decent. They don't know what decent is. They love filth and indecency. But that's a, that's a trial for you too. Why do you cover yourself up? Because you believe what the messenger taught. That's what civilized sisters do. Cover themselves up. Look respectful, decent, dignified. That's what he make you look and me. But we're so blessed, we're so lucky, we're so fortunate to be a follower of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I'm telling you facts. The message said the devil wish they was black. You black, you lucky. We all lucky to be black, and especially followers of the message. That's not a whole lot of us. Wasn't a whole lot of Noah and Lottie, not a lot of them either. But they was the winner, wasn't they? All the big shots drowned, didn't they? See? Can't make the message teaching out a lie. Oh, making a lot of lie. You don't want to taught him. The message said, nah, I was too dumb. I remember the time you, you, you walked down there, you, you used to be shamed. Put a soap towel on. That wasn't the style. I want to walk around with my shirt off. Pants falling. Earrings in the air. That's the style. That's the devil's style. But the messenger gave us the style. Clean cut, civilized, black man, the God, maker, owner, queen of the planet Earth, God of the universe, black man, woman, queen, mother, civilization. Them titles, we have to live up to it. And it takes a man to provide for his family and all his other things that he have to do as a believer. Sisters have to a uh, job to do. They have a job. They got a phone job. Mess of reach. <laughs> That's something. So, look at the job. Just look at the job. So, cook. Rear that church, children. Rear that children. So, take care of that husband. So, cook. All this. How to act at home and abroad. That's a work. That's not one day, that's every day. Every day. You don't have to cook every day. You have a cook. You don't have to wash your clothes every day. You have a washer. That's right. You have a consoler that console you and I when we down. Who you console? You don't have time. Just look at the job. Not only that, children, then she got to console you too and have children too. That's a job. See? So we have to be able to appreciate each other. Because we all have work. You got an MGT and you got an FOI. We all have a job to do. But we have to do our job. If we don't do our job, why well, you can't expect her to do hers? And if she don't do your job, you, she most certainly know you're not going to do yours. So we got to both Respect each other. Understand each other. Job that each other have to do. And likewise, in the temple, we have to understand that we have a job to do. And we all work together. We can do this job. We can't, one side can't do it. We all got to work together to complete this job. Islam, that's unity. See? That's what it takes, unity. 
It's hard sometimes. Yeah, but look how hard the mess he did. It was hard for 44 years for him. Seven of them he had to run up and down the East Coast. Threatened to kill him from his family. He did this. He actually physically did this. For you and I. That shows you what kind of man he was. He was a believer. See? You wouldn't run down no East Coast for no seven years. You wouldn't do it for two years, two days. You wouldn't do it. But our last God, who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, the true and living God, we're very fortunate and lucky to be followers of the Messenger, down of Elijah Muhammad. Because his job wasn't easy. So what you think your job gonna be easy? No. Your job gonna be just as hard as his. No, you can't we can't even compare ourselves to what he had to do. We would we we have been we would we'd have fell out. We we we, we wouldn't we, we couldn't even put nothing. It's like finding a needle in a haystack trying to compare the job, our job with his. Cause we made it hard for him. See? It wasn't the devil so much, his own people it, it made it hard for him. The message said when the devil, when he went to Washington, D.C., the devil had escorted. They, they, they had to close the streets off. Honor the message, why? Because they know who he was. It was us that didn't know. The message said he, they didn't protect me from, 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 from themselves, it was from you. They protect me from you because you just that silly. That's what he said. You just that silly, in other words, to try to hurt me. And I'm riding with the real devil that's cleaning away for you. That's some um, us. We the one made him sick. Right. Put the Prophet Muhammad on, I'd say died of a broken heart. We just made him sick. He stayed sick all the time. We would eat right. He stayed sick to show us that. Dude, this is the way you do it. So what? He had to get sick. He didn't have to get sick. He got sick because of us. To show us. See? So the messenger said we even so much when we, uh, he has all the things that the believer was giving him and his family. He said, don't I think, don't, don't you think I owe you something? This man. He didn't have to say that. He said, but don't you think I owe you something? Other words, I appreciate you giving. He said, I know my followers. He didn't want to live in that big house they got him. He didn't want to move in it. Because he said, my followers ain't living in the home that they live in. I don't live in here. He didn't feel right living in there because of us, how we were struggling. He didn't want to go in a big old house. That's a message. That's the true leader. Right. That's the true leader. Got some of these Muslim people in the country, people starving. Starving and death. They don't care nothing about them. Living in big palaces and all, they don't care nothing about people out there. They, they starving. Not the messenger. Yo. He won't put money in our pocket. He wants us to live good. Like we should be. Keep our line of message out front. Yeah, we're gonna have some hard times, hard trial. Keep our line of message out front. There's light at the end of the tunnel. After difficulty come ease. After difficulty come ease, believe me when I tell you. But you gotta want for your brother that what you want for yourself. Want for your sister that what you want for yourself. That's how it is. Allah bless you with something because he's blessing somebody else. We don't get jealous because somebody else being blessed. You're going to get yours. When he see fit, if you're worthy of it, you'll get it. If I'm worthy of it, I get it. So if you don't have it, you must not be worthy of it yet. Allah blesses us. Believers help each other. That's the believer. Oh, how lucky we are, man. 
Lucky we are. But it's going to get greater later, they say. Only thing we have to do is hold on. Times is tough right now. This might get tougher. But we know we got God all on our side. Nothing happens to you and I that's to please him. It might just be your test. I'm going to try you with sickness. He tried you with sickness. He tried Job, didn't he? He tried Job, didn't he? That's a learning. There's some Job's here. See? He tried him. He afflicted him from the head to the bottom of his foot. Sore, sick. Cut your God and die. Allah walk by. Stand up saying. He got well. Allah blessed him. And he gonna bless you too. Stick it out. I don't care what kind of difficulty it is. You in, I'm in. Allah still God. He still has the power of it. Call on him. That's all you gotta do. He be selfish. Oh, I know what's happening. Now call on him. Oh, I got it under control. Call on him. You ain't got it under control. You never have it under control. You have to pray to stay under control. And whatever it is, you got to pray to stay to be in control. Don't pray and see what kind of control you have. You won't have no control over nothing. Yourself and nothing else. Because we all depend on our love. We all have to depend on him. He's the master. We got to call on him if we want a message, if we want to get blessed. If you want some help, he most certainly ain't gonna call on you and me. No, he ain't call on you. Why should he? He the God. Call on you? No, what I look like calling on you? I'm the God. Call on me. If you help, want me to help, I'll help you. No, not on my, your turn, my turn. That's why we got five prayers and say them at the five times. Do that. That's a job there. It's a job there. Now you got a job. It's a big job there. Saying them prayers on time. That's the big job. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest job. See? You get to try sometime prayer time, you don't say a prayer. All day long, you ain't said a prayer, you said a 12 o'clock prayer. Expect a lot to help you. Help you? Help yourself. You said, any did he give us an out? Make him up. He give us an out. That's the mercy. He didn't have to do that. What if he say, Say it, throw a message, tell him he better say it on time. None of us, we, we, none of us be here. Not one. Oh, I say him, no, you don't say him on, no, you don't, you don't. Tell me that. No, you don't say him every time, it come down, you right on time, on clock. You don't. You don't tell me, no, no, I don't believe it. No, you don't, no. You ain't never did. You might have been lucky to catch two or three of them. But you ain't, you ain't, you ain't gonna, you ain't doing no time all the time, no. no. Why you say that? Because Allah gave us the time to make it up. So I know you ain't did it. If you did it, he wouldn't give you the time. Wouldn't no need to give you time to make it up. That's why. Yeah, you ain't did it. No. No. Try that. Maybe you need to try that. Maybe we all need to try. Maybe make us better. See? Watch oh, I try to say mine on subscribe time. No, you don't. No, you don't. You know. You say you're a part of God, say it then. That's the mercy of them to make it up. So we, we have a merciful God on our side. He's most merciful because if we'll fall flat on our face if we don't do what's right. None of us perfect. Not one of us. See? I'm included. I said one of us. All of us. This thing get bad, I know to go to. Yeah. Allah became the person of mass pride Muhammad. He blesses all of us. He strengthens all of us. He makes us, he makes us better. We tell him he makes us better. We got some areas that we fall short in. I have a few areas that fall short in. See? You can tell when you get strong in them. You can tell. Allah bless you. That confidence. Confidence in gain through prayer. It's the only way we get confidence. I don't know where we can keep going. The message say, this is what he said. Prayer, pray, brother. Prayer gives you that power to move. It gives you power. It gives us power to move. 
when you say it, and you can tell it, you can feel it. In some of your prayers, you get through that, you can you can feel that zoom. You feel it all up in the, all in your head, you can feel it. Zoom. You feel that strength. See? Then you get when to move then. See? It gives you energy, like food. When you eat enough food, that gives you some strength. Prayer gives us strength. That's food. Spiritual food. Still food. We eat it. We have to eat it. Brain to you. Know, give us what we need in it. We go ahead about our business. See? Don't say your prayers, you're going to be in trouble. Ah, oh, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. I've seen a lot of them. Quit saying them. That's right. Fall by the wayside. You run around while things happen to you. Why I feel this way? Say your prayers. That's spiritual food. What we have to have. I'm so thankful Allah came to person math for our mama. I thank for Lieutenant Fleming. Thank you for Lieutenant Fleming. He the one really actually actually she just really made me conscious of prayer. Everything I say, he said, prayer, brother. Prayer. Pray. I said, what? Pray. I looked at it. Prayer. Yeah, prayer. Pray, brother. I don't care what it is. Pray. Prayer. Prayer. See, now Allah knows. He knows it all. So take it to him. He said, take it to him. I don't care what it is. Take it to Allah. See, he's the best knower. He'll make a way for you and I. He'll give us an idea, then we shoot for it. See? But don't feel shame because you're Muslim. Don't feel shame to wear your garment or wear your headpiece. You get respect. See? People respect you for that. They look at you and you dignify. You understand what I'm saying? It makes you good. And them brothers out there, they wish they had one like you. That's right. They go comparing. They do. That's just how it is. When you out in your garment, or you see it. Excuse me, sister. You don't understand that. I know you have. Yes. They respect that. They respect you. They look at you because you dignified. They look at your beauty. And they marvel at it. Because they know you what? Different. They know you're not like Susie. Susie Q. You're not like that. You walk with grace. And they love it. See? Black man, same way. Yeah, same way. They look at you. Yeah, look at you. You know it. You don't want to look at you. You know it. You know it. You can see it. Look in the eyes. Yeah. You see them. They, they, they come. They tried me. I, you, you too. You too. It's all the time. It's not just, I'm not saying I don't this and that. It's all the time. So now you got to be able to handle that. May not be all that. See? It's just the man thing. You ain't all that. It's just the man thing. Who think you all that? Not all that. See? So a lot of them out there think they all that. No, we brothers. We follow the message. We have to, you know, you have to handle that right. You can't get caught all up in that because that's what they want you to do. Then you're all off your thing. Oodling. So you start oodling. See, so they know it. They know it. They know when they got you. They know when they got you going. See, you forget about paper and everything else. Because you can give you a compliment. You done let it went through your head. Hey. <laughs> I'm all this. And you take that stuff right on home and get disappointed. <laughs> Tell you, man, give me something, man. Sit down. Talk about you ain't all that. Told you that. <laughs> now you act the fool. You can't take a compliment. Sit down somewhere, man. Keep my face with that. Hear that? Thank you. you ain't all that. See? 
Thank you, Ed. Take it right on home. You get disappointed. But that's when you're out there. It's a learning out there. You know you done went through that. I know you have. My wife tell me all the time, all right now, I know they're going to come at you, baby. I say, yeah, they I ain't going to go, oh, they don't. Yeah, they do. They do all the time. But I know why. I know why. I laugh all that. I think get that paper in your hand. You want to do it. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. How much is a dollar? <laughs> One dollar. Yeah. yeah, thank you, sister. I appreciate it. Come on down. Come on down, Sunday. We ain't got nothing to do. Come on down there. Okay, uh, this is nine. No, no, you can, you can. Uh, I give you the number. You call my wife. Let her. You talk to you. <laughs> oh man, I give me your number. I will take your number. No, you no. I give you what you call my wife. You let her know that all that put you in her mind. She said, uh, uh, call you who? Your wife. Oh, okay. Okay, brother. All right. Do so. I know where you're coming from. You do that. Get me caught all up in that. See, these are the kind of thing you have to be careful. Of. Everything is real. You don't know what I look like. You know, taking your number. You know, I'm not gonna do that. You know, but Allah makes men out of boys. Give us a good understanding of what we should be doing. We're examples. See? And believe me, you tell me that a brother, a brother looking for a Muslim sister. That's what they want. I'm out there. I'm out there. It's just a matter of time. They get in here. They want a Muslim woman. They know what they got out there. They know what they see out there. And when they come in here, they looking. They want a wife. That's right. A Muslim wife. Not a Christian. A Muslim wife. They got Christians. They're all out there. Wearing their clothes halfway up their legs. Nobody want that. Everywhere you look, you see two women holding hands. Everywhere you look, I, I, everywhere I look yesterday, I go out to be downtown, we're holding hands. Women, young brothers, young sisters. I'm telling you, I see young sisters that got a misunderstanding with this devil is shooting at them. Let them think that this is all right. It's not all right. None of that mess. It's not all right. That's the devil's world. Allah didn't go for that. Allah said man for woman. Woman for man. Not woman for woman. And man for man. In matrimony. You marry a woman. A man marry a woman. Not another man. That's a sin. A great sin. Allah didn't prove of that. It was a long time before a man had got a woman. Long time. He was a lonely creature. What did he look like with another man? Yeah, he long time he went without a, a mate. So I was, oh, let me get this man here. Let me get this guy here. Let me give him a mate here. He's a lonely fella. A woman come in. That's right. See, in the end, of the, and then when the time gets... Here, show. You can't tell a woman from the man, and the man from the woman, and that's exactly right. You go out there and you see that mess. And who are they shooting at? Our children. They got it all in schools. Them young brother was telling me how they have to accept that, and if they don't accept that stuff, they kick them out. If they disapprove of it, they kick them out. Brother told me that. He said, sick of it. Can't go nowhere unless he accept that. You don't have to accept that. You got to accept that. No. What's wrong? I don't buy that, man. You don't tell me that. You put you out of school. What put me out then? I don't go for that. You don't want to get me to go for that. And I know better. I'm telling you how they doing. They're going after our children. They make them think it's okay. It's okay with them. Under this banner. It's okay. Not over here. No. Look like man to man. 
Better be out your mind. See? These kind of things. Just think we didn't have a mess. Where will we be at? Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever looked out there in that madness and get back and just look at it? You're not in it. You're out of it. With the help of Allah. And you see all that. You can see it. You think you're not blessed? We're not blessed. We're not in that madness. And you can see the filth, indecency, and evil. You can see it. And they blatant with it now. They, they are all up with it, open now. Because they don't care. There's no fear of God. They don't fear Allah. That's why they do what they do. Even in their own world, they don't, they little God they have, they don't fear. See? We fear Allah. But we know we don't get wrong. We get punished. Yeah, Allah punish us for that. Yeah, he'll punish you, you and I for that. Your daughter talking about I want to marry a man, a daughter, another woman. Your son talking about he want to marry a man. No, that's hurting. But you teach him. So you have that's that, that's on them. Teach you the truth. That's on you. you did what I did. I did my job. Now you want to pick up one? That's on you, baby. On you, son. You want to pick that up? Go ahead. That's on you. But I can tell you where you're going. You're going straight to hell. That's where you're going. Even with a thought like that. It's the devil's behind it. He's behind it. Because he's making it all seem like it's okay. Even past law that's forcing you and I to accept that. And if you don't accept it, you're violating some civil rights. See? Then he throw you in jail. And then your kids looking at it and they, they seeing a uh, uh, man with a dress on and, and, and they think it's funny and it's okay. We had all that coming up. Flip Wilson, Geraldine. They started way back then when I was a kid. Used to love to look at him, see him. Didn't understand it until I got older, until I got to teach him the message. See how I was. Man dressing up as a woman, telling like Geraldine. He's Geraldine. I'm a, I was a kid then. Used to watch the Flip Wilson show. Everybody used to stand out and do. Look at what Geraldine. They ain't know the signs behind it. They don't know what the devil doing. We just laughing. <laughs> and it's instilling that in our minds because we want to put it in our children's minds that it's okay. And it's not okay. You got some brothers now would won't, won't, won't put no dress on. Then they won't give him no kind of show. Well, you going to put a dress on him? I'm not putting no dress on, man. Well, cancel your show. Cancel it then. Get somebody else put that dress on. That I'm not doing. How much money you give me? Put no call. You put a dress on. You send a message to the children here. You look around there. They want to dress up like a lady. That's where it starts. Some of it probably. You ain't born with that. You ain't born with that. Thank Allah, brothers and sisters. Thank Allah. Thank Allah. Man. Thank Allah who came to the person Mass for our Muhammad. I see it every day. I be out there. And it's, I tell you, my crew, it's hard hearted. Pretty sisters. I'm telling you, pretty. Good looking sisters. Walking hand in hand, man. I see this. What? Wrong understanding. They think it's okay. And it's not. See? The messenger had a job. He wrote about that. How the devil put it all on TV. They got it on TV now. On the regular channels. They used to have it on the other. They got it on the regular channel now. You zoom right in. And this, in my, in this internet, this, that's one of the most dangerous things in the world. 
That's, you can look and see some of whatever you want to see on the internet. He know what he's doing. The master said, we are people like, when it comes down to filth and indecency and evil, we do it better than the white man. We way better. We do it way better than the devil. Whatever it is, we do it better than the devil. If it's wrong, we do it better than the devil. And he the master at it, but we be it better than him. See? So these things, just think, count our blessings. Keep pushing. Because the Muslim sisters are the beautiful thing in the world. The message said, that's right. A Muslim sister. You got some clout. You have a lot of clout. So I know how them lost time brothers thinking out there. I'm out there. I know how they thinking. They tell you. They tell you when you talk to them. It's a learning experience, brother, when you're out there. But I tell you, man, you you be on your job here. I'm gonna get a paper, brother. I see you all the time. You saying when you here, man, give me a paper. They admire you and respect you for what you're doing. And we have to do that and keep our line and message out front. And you're not a loser. There's somebody for everybody. There's a brother for you. There's a sister for you. Just hold on. But I've been patient. I've been a long time. Hold on. Allah's the best knower. You'll get that king. You'll get him. Just hold on, because that remember, there's a king out here want a queen. So you ain't by yourself. Don't think you by yourself. There's a lot of them like you. There's a lot of them waiting on this king. He may not be riding no white horse, but this king here gonna probably come. You see, he might have a handful, arm full of these. If he don't have an arm full of these, he, he got say he can take care of you. But you just have to be patient. You say, oh, man, I don't wait. No, keep waiting. It's been 44 years the messenger talk. Still, he's no longer with us and he's still teaching. Still teaching. Just think about all the brothers and sisters was with the messenger, some probably still alive, still holding on. Some of them went with this snake, but they got some of them that still holding on. You got some patience in it. That's what it takes. Something like that. Pray be to Allah. Well, I said the Mother's Day is supposed to be today. Mother's Day is every day for the black woman. Every day for her. <laughs> oh, Brother Rock Mom, send the greetings. I said, I'm like, okay. And Dewan, okay, good. Thank you. Turn the greeting from. I love black baby. We got a whole life ahead of us. says we rise in prayer. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the beneficent, the merciful. So, Master's Day of Judgment in which we now live, the alone we serve, the alone seeks for thine help and aid. O oh, Allah, guide us on the right path, the path of those upon whom thou stow thy favors, not on the path of those upon whom thy wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray if they heard thy teachings. Say he allows one God. Allah is he of whom nothing is independent, but upon whom we all depend. He beget us not, nor is he begotten, there is none like him. And I bear witness and none, sir, to be sir, worship the praise beside Allah, who came in the person of Master Farah Muhammad. And I bear witness that the honor of Elijah Muhammad is our true servant and last apostle. I mean, the honor of Elijah Muhammad taught us not to do anything to anyone that we wouldn't have done it to ourselves and treat everybody right, even the devil. Islam alaikum.